everyone i welcome you to fashion wit this is elizabeth Fiaritono. good day everyone you are welcome to fashion wit this is elizabeth Fiaritono. today we'll be looking into what i call small money great wardrobe small money great wardrobe how you can actually have a wonderful clothes in your closet with little money if you have a low budget and you want to actually look good you want to look nice you want to look beautiful when you go out how to what are the tips what are the things you need to know if that is you and number one thing is what i called what fits you what fits you the first thing you must first pay attention to if you will be great if your wardrobe will be great even though you do not have so much money is what fits you even if you have much money if you have plenty money if you can afford anything on earth if you can afford to buy anything no matter how expensive it is you should still if that thing will fit you well if that thing will go well on you people will admire you if you look stunning if you look beautiful you still need to go for what fits you how much more someone that is trying to to to, to manage what is at ease or at disposal at the moment so you need to pay attention to to what fits you and you know in most cases someone that has a lot of money to get uh, uh, clothes can actually go away with wearing anything they so desire anything they so fall in love with sometimes they might actually go away with it but you that you are trying to just uh, play low you must pay rapt attention to what fits you so you need to study your body you need to know what goes well on you how what do you put on what can you wear that makes the best of you that shows the best of you that showcase the best of you so that is number one tip you need to know and it is very very important for anybody that wants to look beautiful that wants to look attractive you must know what fits your body type your body shape and all of that and another thing is get almighty color as accessories yeah i will explain that get almighty color as accessories what is almighty color there are some colors that when you have them in your closet when you have them in your wardrobe you can pair them with so many colors there are some colors something like let me give an example of red now if you have red in your your closet as probably shoe and bag or let's say scarf now if you have that you can it can match and it can go with several other colors so you it would be a good thing if you have something like that and there are several other colors like that, that when you have them in your closet they goes with several colors so you are not bothered with what do i pair this with what do i pair this with? what do i combine this with today tomorrow and next tomorrow even though you cannot afford to get so much of accessories so if it is your shoe your necklace whatever make sure it is something that can actually go with so many colors so it will save you money like that that is another thing number three point is don't buy in vogue dresses or accessories don't buy in vogue dresses or accessories what do i mean by that when you are going to buy dress or your accessories you want to buy shoe you want to buy bag or what have you do not go for the things that are in vogue it is not in any way to relegate you it is not in any way to say you are not up to standard but by the time you spend the money you have now to buy something that everyone is going after to buy something that everyone is buying then whenever another thing comes out it means you might not be able to follow the trend again it means you might not be able to buy another thing that people are now buying and of course you will not be able to to, to, to flow with the trend so it is better you do not even start it is better you know what you can afford and just go after it so you leave what is in vogue for the people that can avoid it at the moment it's a matter of time you will also be able to avoid as much as possible but now so that you will not be living a miserable life if you pack all your money now and you go to buy something that everyone is buying 
and in most cases those things are usually expensive so it means when you go to buy what everyone is buying you are spending more that is one thing another thing is that you might not be able to purchase the next trend the next one that will be coming in and you might not be able to wear the one you have actually purchased because it is no more in vogue. People have now moved to another thing. So it is safe that you do not follow the trend. You do not go after what is in vogue. If you are playing, if you, 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 you are yes, playing with a low budget. That's another thing. Point number four is buy smart and uncommon dresses. Buy smart and uncommon dress. Buy smart clothes so that you will not be after you have bought something that is so big you will not be ashamed of wearing it at another time so you have gone for something that is smart now so it will pay you because you will not be relegating that clothes immediately as soon as possible as soon as negative comments comes out to you that oh see what you are wearing you are not relegating the clothes so it is beautiful it is excellent that you buy smart clothes and you go for clothes that are not common that still also boils down to not following what is in vogue or what is in what is trending so buy clothes that are not common you can wear it anytime you like you can wear it anytime you so desire that's the advantage of not buying common clothes that you can see everywhere, that you can see on everybody. It means when others are no more wearing it, you can also not wear that clothes again because people have stopped wearing it. And people will now be tagging you like, ah, this clothes is no more in vogue, people are no more using it. It's, it's time you change it and pressure and you'll be pressurized to go out of your way to get another clothes or even accessories another point is don't be an emotional buyer don't be an emotional buyer who are the emotional buyers by the time someone is saying this thing is so beautiful someone that wants to sell a thing will say a lot of things they will package it they will do everything possible because they actually want to sell and you must buy so if they will actually want to entice you. They will say so many things. So those things should not go into your head else you begin to misbehave, else you begin to go for things that you cannot... Uh, 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 uh. You, you cannot afford. So it is safe that you master your emotions when it gets to buying things when someone is trying to convince you into buying her stuff and she's saying it's beautiful is this is that in fact you can even use it for this and that and you cannot afford it at the moment there is no crime in not buying most times if you go for those things they might not be something that can actually last you for a while for for for, for some for for a long time because most times you are clouded, your reasoning is clouded with what the person is saying. You are saying the beautiful things the person is saying. You are imagining, you are reasoning it. And by the time you take the clothes home, you realize that I, I do not actually need this thing. So that you not be packing unnecessary or jargons into your wardrobe. And at the end of the day, you are lamenting because you do not have money. It is not money factor. It is how smart you are how reasonable you are so do not be an emotional buyer do not allow anyone convince you into buying what you will not pay you later on so you when you are buying you know that you actually need this thing then you go for it not that they say it's beautiful and you buy your friends are buying and you buy it will arm you if you are playing on a low budget and lastly today is avoid uniform as much as possible avoid uniform as much as possible this regular and co as be and all of that if you are playing with low budget you need to avoid it as much as possible i've not said you should not buy clothes with your your, your friend and i've not said you should not celebrate with them and all of that but if you cannot avoid it there is there, nothing will happen nothing will happen to you you cannot avoid it then you let it go so you might have to take your eye off buying and co or uniform as much as possible so that the uniform do not dominate your wardrobe and at the end of the day you do not have regular clothes as much as you should have 
and you will agree with me that most of this uniform that you pay for ashabi and all of that they are usually more expensive than buying regular clothes in fact if you want to buy that same clothes in market you will not spend as much as you are required to pay where you want to to to, to do click so it is safe that you avoid them as much as possible you can go for the most important ones so that by the time you do let's say you bought a clothes now it's a uniform with your friends and they have so much money they want to they can they they, they, they can afford to buy much clothes and they are have even relegate the ones you bought together and you are still wearing it it will be somehow And some people do not actually mind, but the, the implication is that it will, your closet will suffer for it. So you will not be able to have as much clothes as you should have in your wardrobe. And you agree with me that this ashabi of a thing is as beautiful as wearing it together with your friends that one day and probably wear it two other times and forget about it. I hope this has blessed you. I hope this has helped you. Thank you.